I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And by that, I mean, I hope you found a place, be it with family or friends or alone, where you could reflect on the past year in your life and recall some things for which to be thankful. I certainly did. My thanks begin and end with family. In my mind's eye, they're smiling in the sunlight of a perfect summer day, but it's for the times when they're around me, when the skies overhead are gloomy, that I'm most thankful. I got to connect with extended family at times this year, and I'm always so happy to find that somehow the old pieces fit right back together again. Watching my mom with my kids, boy, kids and grandparents, one of the world's most perfect matches. In each other's eyes, they are perfect. These are the years in which I'm thankful for a camera. My kids are growing so fast and the pictures stop them in time, if only for a moment. I'm thankful to see them finding their interests and losing themselves in them. I wonder what they're thinking and dreaming, and I hope that it's good. I'm thankful for the days this year I got some one-on-one -on -one time with them. I think they enjoyed it. I'm thankful I got to return to Canada this year and reconnect with my passion. But I was also thankful for the little things, like a fresh haircut and the sight of a tired dog and the smile of a close friend enjoying my company. Friends might bring the most thanks of all, as close as family, as inexhaustible as the stars. I'm thankful for the generosity of others, in this case, a complete stranger with a gift that I'll never forget. I'm thankful for these women who share the burden of my ungodly work hours and for this one who makes sense of the rest of my life. To the year that's nearly passed and the one that's about to get started, cheers to you both. May the moments for which we're thankful have no beginning or end.